Well, I love that wall so much, as you can see in my background, it's looking pretty sick, that I decided to come inside the theater and not do the exact same thing, but just on that wall there, maybe just add a little quick design. That way, if your eyes travel from the other room into this room, you see just a little quick reminder. No lights, nothing flashy, just a, just a couple pieces right on the wall and leave it alone. guys good time for a video so I've got this wall pretty much that's all I'm gonna do with that wall I didn't want to do a whole lot in here because like I told you you know that room is where like huge attraction is things like that I just wanted uh, some kind of congruency in here but um, so I'm gonna do that side of the wall this is where the TV sits so I'm gonna paint it all black again um, and then I'm doing the other side here right now to match that side what I realized which I probably could have figured out early was that you could very easily just cut all of those pieces twice and you should be good but I didn't um, so you live and you learn and that's why you watch videos so I could tell you guys things like that so um, and just as I'm looking at it man that would actually be nice if I put one more piece right there and it would like complete the whole hexagon shape but I don't know if I want to do that I kind of like the triangles and the one hexagon getting in there but anyways, um, so I'm almost done with this. Well, it is finally finished. This was a, literally it's a one day uh, project. It's not a big job, but I am just very, very much impressed um, as to how nicely this looks. And I'll back up so you can see the whole, see that? That looks really good. I just love it. So I'm gonna put the TV and everything back, but that's it guys. Um, just follow the, uh, the pictures that I, I posted and um, really there's nothing really tough about it. I mean. Um, the most important part of all of this is making sure that you use these two tools. You're gonna wanna have an angle, a uh, triangle, you know, so you can get the perfect angle and then use that level. So um, other than that, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, share this with your friends and family. This is a, I mean, I think I probably spent maybe 150 bucks, if that. No, I've spent about 100 bucks on the trim pieces. And then, you know, the paint was probably, you know, like another $30. That's it. Trim and paint. And then um, just use your angles. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll continue to bring you more of those cool videos.